Hey everyone, it's Shakira. Welcome back to Globy Willis here on YouTube. Okay, so I just got an email um, from The Real Self, which is like a plastic surgery um, type website and blog where women and men, I guess, go on there and ask questions about certain procedures and what to expect, take, picture, take pictures. Um, also recommending doctors and so on and so forth for certain procedures so i have breast implants and i've had them for uh, <clears throat> since gosh i've had them for like 10 years yeah 10 years and in recent years i've seen women post online about breast implant illness and all of these things uh, that they are linking to their breast implants now let me just go ahead and put out there that I have silicone, no, saline, not silicone, saline implants. And um, I chose saline for a specific reason because of all the stuff that I had heard about silicone. Now, for those of you that have silicone, those of you that are um, considering silicone implants, because those are the ones that the doctors usually try to sell you on because it costs more to put up in your chest. And I just never felt, I just felt better doing saline because if something happened, if it leaks and, it, you know, it's not silicone as it was back in the day, back, back in the day. Um, and yes, I do know that they have the gummy bear. They have all this different technology where the silicone does not leak outside of the body. Yes, I know that. Trust me when I say I did a lot of research before I got my implants because one, I felt like I don't want to die on a table getting something as stupid as implants. Like I remember when I was like getting, um, when I was doing my research, I came across the story of a young mom who went and got her boobs done um, and she ended up dying. I mean, death is a real um, consequence or a real uh, that can really happen to you if you go under the knife for anything. But it's frowned upon when women or, or whoever go under the knife for cosmetic reasons because, oh, you're so vain and, oh, you know, uh, your saggy boobs are beautiful after you've had... No, 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 no. No. For me, I had my first son young. I had him when I was 20, 21, okay? And after breastfeeding, even for just the three months that I breastfed, my boobs looked like granny boobs. And that was just not about to be my life or existence. I mean, just imagine like being intimate after having granny boobs. You're bent over or <laughs> that didn't sound right. But <laughs> you are, you know on all fours and your boobs are like torpedoes it's not a good look like it's just not sexy at all now if I felt sexy like that then I wouldn't have you know if I felt like oh I don't care what my boobs look like then I would have never gotten them done but I did care too young to have pancake breasts I'm sorry <laughs> so I decided that I wanted to get my my boobs done and then I, I did a lot of research and of course there was that um thing over my head where I was like you know what if I die in fact when I was getting you know that milky uh, anesthesia pumped in my arm I had tears in my eyes and then I woke up and I you know it was good it's good to go very happy with my breasts and still happy with them today to be quite honest um so where was I going with this <laughs> so basically it is obviously our right to choose what we want to do with our bodies. And while we are here on this physical plane, I mean, why not do things that make you feel sexy and confident? I mean, my breast implants really helped me feel sexier. And it doesn't matter what the partner thinks. Oh, my husband loves it. My wife. I, that, that doesn't matter um, to women that have these issues with our bodies. Um and it's just a little some some just a little nip tuck lift you know it's not even like that big of a deal to me it's very very um common for the breast implants and and fair for a woman because if you are married if your wife wants breast implants um or if you are a wife and you want breast implants i mean getting them number one was a really good investment um self-esteem wise and then also just 
just looks better, okay? You have, you've got more confidence. It will boost your confidence and make you feel sexier. And for your partner, you 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 know, your partner will be happy because you'll be more like, yeah, let's let's go. Let's go to bed and get it popping. So anyway, I have thoughts on this because um uh, I know that a lot of women, like someone that I'm Facebook friends with, she posted about her journey and was trying to I feel like cause fear with other women that might be considering breast implants or that already have them. I've had my breast implants for 10 years. And I don't know what this girl, I don't know if she had silicone or what. I've had my breast implants for 10 plus years and I have never experienced anything like breast implant breast implant illness. Um, I've never experienced extreme fatigue. I feel like I have the normal amount of fatigue for a single mother, entrepreneur, fitness instructor, uh, 10 job. You know what I'm saying? Like I have the normal amount of fatigue. I work out. I take care of myself. I eat right. I drink water and all and I take care of myself. I don't know her story in particular and I don't know every woman's story in particular, but everybody uh, I just feel like, like, this is my opinion, because I'm going to go to another example on a chick that is on YouTube, has got a huge following, and she uh, vlogged about her quote unquote breast implant illness story, right? <sighs> I remember her from back in the day. So some of you might know who I'm talking about just based on the description. And I'm not trying to be mean or anything like that or try to talk bad about anybody, because every woman has her right to choose what she wants to do with her body, how she wants to look, so on and so forth. But when I see somebody with bad skin, a bad diet, showing on their YouTube channel that they eat horribly, and I personally, like, I follow 80-20 rule with my diet. Like, let's just say 85% I'm eating better. Because some days, and some, uh, you know, like, when I was doing the keto thing, I was eating less of the micronutrients um that i need to eat less of the things that will help support my cells and to keep me healthy this is a immune system situation you guys this is what i'm going to say it's an immune system situation in my opinion in terms of breast implant illness now back to the girl i don't know what the young lady um i don't know where her life was when she had her implants, what, how she ate. We went to holistic, um, a holistic health school, holistic health training school together. So I like to assume that she followed a mostly healthy diet, but I don't know. When it comes to illness, you all, there are lots of factors, okay? There are lots of things that influence an illness. I talk about candido on my channel a lot, Okay, because that was something that I dealt with. That is not linked to my breast implants, I promise you. Okay, um, so you have one woman that I knew, not personally, but like we knew. We talked on the phone a time or two before about uh, health stuff, you know. But I, like I said, I don't know what she did, how she consumed food and stuff like that. The other girl showed she would eat a lot of candy. And even if she didn't, you can tell by the acne on her face how bad her skin is that something is up with your body. When you have bad acne, something's up, okay, internally. And this was before she got her implants. This was before she got her implants. She looked like she did not take care of herself. And she showed in her videos that she eats like crap. And, you know, had a lot of stuff going on in her life. So, I say all that to say, also, the capsular contraction thing. One of my breasts is a little more firm at the top, like where the cleavage would be. Um, but for the most part, my boobs are good. You know, there's a little bit of firmness. Um, my left breast is a little more firm than my right uh, but that is also very normal. Your normal boobs that that haven't been touched by a surgeon are going to have issues as well. They're not going to be perfect. Um, the one thing I will say about my procedure is that I wish I would have gotten a full lift and not a partial lift um, with my procedure. But other than that, I mean, I didn't want that scar. You know, the lollipop scar, I did not want that scar. Um, other than that, I feel 
happy with my procedure and I have not had any issues and I have a huge like I just don't understand how people can just create illnesses and diseases and not even look further like it could be autoimmune it could be lots of different things going on could the implants have some impact sure because it's a foreign object that's in the body and the body is like whoa I don't want this in my body but let's think about this consider this my granddad has had a hip replacement a knee replacement he's got a pacemaker he's got a lot of stuff and he has little to no he's almost 90 you guys and he uh he he don't he doesn't have he has dementia but and I guess that is a major illness but okay bad example but for the most part, like he doesn't take a whole bunch of medications. And I feel like the dementia is kind of just kind of comes with being on this earth for so long and your brain just kind of like breaking down. My mom has MS. She doesn't have any uh, foreign object in her body. I have foreign object in my body. I have no illnesses or no diseases. Your diet is going to be the biggest um, contributing factor to what happens to you to what diseases you may or may not take. Your supplements are going to be huge. We live in a world that is full of pollution. We eat food that even if it was organic, it's still not the purest that we could be consuming. You can't escape pollution and oxidation. You can't escape it. So you have to counteract stuff you know when you're doing stuff to yourself, when you're getting procedures and stuff like that, you have to counteract and feel like, you really got to be careful with saying, oh, your implants are making you sick. Baby, my implants are good. I am thriving. I don't know about everybody else, but I know that um, everyone is different. Um, a lot of people need to do some detoxing. A lot of people need to, and not just food-wise, like mentally. Like, are you in a good relationship? How is your uh, emotional health, your spiritual health? What's going on with your mind and your spirit? Because... All a lot of things can be managed by simply doing work. Like you don't have to get. I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know a lot of these. I don't. I haven't. I don't have time to watch all these people's you know different stories. But I know for myself, I have had implants for ten plus years. Saline. I don't know if these other women complaining about what's going on or having explants or if they, are they mostly silicone or they're mostly saline I don't know but I do know that the shell that my implants are in I believe it is silicone um if you are interested in implants do your research make sure you are healthy make sure your blood is purified and you got a good blood count you can consume beets to uh, purify your blood and oxygenate your blood you can work out you can practice yoga you can do lots of things to prepare yourself for surgery and to stay healthy and even if you did get sick you could also do some things to help counter that um, to help get yourself well and if all else fails then yeah get get the boobs out but breast implant illness like, come on. I just, mm, I don't know. I'm going to end it on that. Um, if you have anything else to add to this, then pop it in the comments below. Again, I'm not trying to talk bad about anybody, but these are just observations. Um, you know, what's your diet like, baby? If you are, uh, you know, if your face is breaking out over, like, and, and the one girl I'm telling you guys about the whole entire time that I've seen her on YouTube, her face has always been um, breakout, pimples everywhere and that has that's you that is internal can't blame it are we gonna blame that on the implants too even though you had that before you got the implants come on so i'm gonna end the video on that thank you so much for listening and i'll see you next video